Welcome back everyone. Today we have another pen haul video where today's theme is will they even all fit? <laughs> so let's just get started. Um, so I did not buy all of these so you cannot blame me. These are ones I did buy for myself. Um, some fine line drawing pens. There's only 10 of them. They're the only 10 that I bought. So <laughs> Let's get started. Now these I really like because they're very pretty, they're very kind of sleek and comfortable. Um, they come in regular colors here, regular colors of the rainbow. Um, they're all very vibrant colors, which I like. The yellow is a little bit hard to see. Um, but these are really good for coloring. So if you have like coloring pages with small spaces, um, that's what these are great for. And the yellow shows up really well there because it contrasts with the other colors. So that's nice. Um, so my favorite color in this one is one of these two. They're both very nice. This is a very nice color, this green blue right here. Um, there's a blue purple and then a purple pink brown and black now these are all really vibrant really bright colors and I like that um, they're easy to write with they're very comfortable so you can buy them on Amazon they're pretty cheap too uh, might have different packaging same pens they're three point uh, they're point three eight or point four and um, they're just really nice. So I definitely would recommend those if you're looking for coloring or just some nice fine tipped pens that are very comfortable and very pretty. Um, these are a bunch of <laughs> kind of cute little pens that I was gifted. Um, they're all black, but they have fun little cats on them. So they're all they're also very fine tipped. They're all black. Really good for doing outlining and stuff. I know I use a lot of black pens when I draw, so these were really nice to have. Um, just a couple extra black ones that were kind of fun. Alright, so then we have these. Now, you can't blame me because I did not buy these for myself. So, <laughs> let's get started with these because there are 48 of them. So, that's going to take a while. So, they come in four of these little sheets here that hold all the pens in. Um, and it comes with this special blender. So, you put water in here and then um, you blend with this pen. So these are water-based pens and I spilled some water but that's okay. <laughs> um, they are water-based pens that will actually allow me to show you how they work with water. So let's get started with these. So while this is still wet over here we're gonna see if we can demonstrate how that works with water. Um, the pigment spreads out a little bit more but also as you can see it's not really drawing paper so uh, not the best <laughs> but there are um, some other places that you can see that so I'll let you know about that in a bit um, but as you can see they have a lot of pigment these are also very vibrant colors which is really nice because they are water based um, so you can water them down and still have a good color um, and if you notice when I swatch these, I don't know if you can see that, but there's bristles here on the pen. So these are called, these are advertised as real brush pens, um, as you can see here. <laughs> and that is because they are actually brush tips instead of the other brush pens I had where they were solid tips. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my last video. <laughs> Maybe my, my last video, but my, my second pen haul video um, has all of the brush pens with solid tips in there. These are actually bristles, so that's what makes these a little bit different. Um, and as you can see, you can use them like markers with a very heavy pigment, so that is great if you want to use them like that. Um, the best way I have found to use these, though, is as, um, if you think about them like watercolor paints without all the mess. So, <laughs> you don't have to have a painting palette, 
you don't need to worry about getting paint all over yourself. You just use the pens, you get a sm very small bowl of water. You don't even need a whole lot. And um, you can do anything you could do with paints. So I think that's really great about these, especially since I'm in college. <laughs> It's a great way to be able to paint and have not a lot of mess and not have to own a lot of materials. So, um, A couple other things I really like about these is that they are very blendable. Now I was really nervous when I got these, um, as some other people might be, about putting them in water or blending the colors together. And I wasn't sure if it was going to ruin my pens forever and I didn't want that to happen. So, um, I did some research and I learned that they are actually very good at that and not ruining the pens, not doing anything like that. You can dip the pens directly in your bowl of water and you will get a lighter color and then the more you color, the more the pigment will come back and it will just come back. It doesn't have a problem doing that. There's no complications. There's not, you know, it's not going to ruin your pens, which is something I was concerned about, so... I tried it for you. <laughs> um, another really cool thing you can do, I'll show you, is so here we have a dark blue pen and we've got a yellow. So what you can do is you can actually transfer the blue onto the yellow pen. Now this is something I was worried about doing, but watch. <laughs> um, and then you can just color with it and the more you color with the pen, the blue just comes right off, leaving you with your beautiful original yellow pen. As you can see, there's no more blue left. As you can see on the tip, it's totally clean. So um, I know for me that was something I was very worried about with these pens, is that I didn't want to ruin my nice light pens, my yellows and like my pinks and things by um, potentially damaging the tip. But as you can see, you get this beautiful gradient and it comes right off. It doesn't leave any remnants on the lighter pen. So you can basically do whatever you want with them and it won't hurt them, which is great. Um, they also have a variety of colors. As you can see, this is the 48 pack. It's not even the biggest pack, but all of these colors are very... Um, vibrant, very bright, even like the browns and the yellows in here. Um, the yellows are very bright, browns and grays are still very deep, full colors, which is really nice. Um, really nice to see. And they've even got all kinds of different color grays. Like you can see there's a gray gray, there's kind of a blue gray, um, there's some more later on. There's really nice blues into purples. If you haven't figured it out so far, my favorite color is blue, so I appreciate when there's a lot of blues. And these holders are really nice. They're just cheap kind of plastic, but they allow you to organize the pens and it has a slot for each pen. so. That's nice, it keeps them all in where they're supposed to be, and you don't end up with like a whole mess of pens. So here we are on the last um, section, and so this is mostly browns, but it's also really nice to see here that there are a lot of different browns, because I found often in color sets either you get no brown or you get kind of a generic brown. But as you can see earlier here, we had kind of a brown, a uh, red brown, orange brown. Down here we've got a little bit of a maroon, a darker, more green, um, and a lighter one here. So as you can see, there's a large variety of most of the colors. Actually, there's a large variety of them. But I think it's especially helpful to have these because one of the best things I've found to do with these pens is like landscaping and background pictures. Um, and for landscaping especially, you want a lot of browns. 
So it'll look, it allows you to add a lot of different colors for blending, which is what these are really meant for. They're really supposed to be for blending. They're really good at blending, um, especially, especially if you use water. You can lay the water down first, you can dip the pens themselves in water, you can um, use the blender after, you can use the blender before, you have a lot of different options, but essentially they blend really well. So that's all of those colors. Now these are really nice. They are the Arteza brand, and like I said, they come with four sheets of pens. Just a lot of pens. But worth it. <laughs> so they come in those, they come in this nice box here that holds them all. And I think this was, you can get this on Amazon if you're interested. Um, but beware if you do want to buy these and you do purchase them. They are not like the other kind of brush pens that I showed in my last video. Because of the bristles, they're a little harder to do fine detailing. They're really more meant for um, like landscaping and watercolor style art. So they work really well with water and blending and everything like that, but don't really expect to get a lot of fine detailing because if you try to draw really fine lines because of the bristles, they tend to separate which is really nice for a certain kind of art, but they're not really meant for the same kind of things that the other brush pens are. All right, lastly, we have this beautiful package here. So I actually got this today because it was another gift. I didn't buy it myself. You can't blame me. Um, so these are metallic markers. So let's just pull that out. Um, these look very similar to the metallic brush pens I had, but they are not brush pens. So, <laughs> let's get started. They have larger tips, as you can see. They're a marker tip instead of a brush tip. But they've got those same, um, the same metallic colors that we saw before. Same very, very nice colors. So they're very full, very inky. I imagine that these would also be great for coloring in spaces because they have enough ink to not dry out really fast um, and to support coloring for a long time. They've also just got some really pretty colors. Um, I've got a nice vibrant purple. I always like purples. And then they've got the normal metallic colors of the coppers and gold here, um, a darker kind of black, and a silver. Now most packages that are this style of pen, as I have the other one, my metallic brush pens are the same style of pen. Um, come with a white, which is really hard to see <laughs> on white paper. I, I can see it a little bit. It's there. You just might not be able to see it. Um, let's see if we can draw over something. It's really meant for like black paper or a dark brown kind of cardboard paper. But as you can see, it still shows up there. Um, but yeah, it's it's meant for black papers, which all of these colors would work really well on black paper too. So whether you have white paper or black paper, um, personally, I think it would look great on both. So that is all of the colors we have for you today. But if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell, even though sometimes it doesn't work. We'll see if you're a special person who YouTube chooses to notify because they love you. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't work. It just doesn't work sometimes. Um, if you have any questions or 
anything you want to add, please comment in the comment section below. And I will get back to you. I love when you comment. Um, gives me something to do. And like this video if you enjoyed watching me swatch all of my pens for you. Um, if you have not seen the previous videos that I did along these lines, there is a pen haul 1 and 2. So go check those out. I will try to link to them at the end of this video. And if you are interested in more pen hauls like this or packages or random anecdotes or really anything else that goes on in this channel, feel free to subscribe. And there will be a Christmas haul coming up sometime in the near future. It might be a little late because of school, but it will be coming. So have a great week, you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye!